you know, the question to separate the one from the others. I make such a motion. Okay, the motion is to divide out resolution number three. It would be voted on separately, and then the other ten would be voted on together. That would be the, the motion is to divide into two. Resolution three and all the other resolutions. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Okay, so the question isn't on the resolution or the minority report. The question is, do you want to have two votes? One on this resolution alone, and then one on all the other resolutions together. So we're talking about breaking resolution number three off to vote on it separately. If you don't want to do that, you want to vote on everything as a package, you vote no, okay? So all in favor of dividing the question, say an aye. Mr. Chair, yes, there's an inquiry, hold on. Inquiry? Do you have an inquiry? Uh, well, I oppose dividing them. Is this debatable? Say. It's not debatable. All those in favor of dividing the question as stated into two different votes on resolution three and on all the other resolutions, say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The nays have it. Yep. What's the uh, what the uh, requirement for a roll call? Are you asking for division first or roll call first? Excuse me. We're uh, we're going to do the roll call by standing first. Okay. So all those in favor? Yes. Do you have an inquiry? It, your 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 motion is not in order right now. I don't believe we need to vote on this one. Okay, so we're in the middle of voting on the question of dividing between resolution three and all the other resolutions. We had a voice vote, and there's been a request uh, to do the roll call. We're going to do that first by standing. So all the delegates that are in favor of dividing the question between resolution three and all the other resolutions, please stand. I'm going to ask you to sit down and then probably stand up again. So please sit down. Those that are opposed, please stand. I think we have to count them. What's that? We're going to go ahead and do a true roll call. Please sit down. Sorry, it's, I can't count that fast. All right, so we're going to go through the counties. So chairman of the counties, be prepared to vote for your county. You need to poll your folks. Yes. Did you not announce the vote? I did announce the vote. Once the vote is announced, is the motions to divide not out of order? It has to be made before the motion uh, is ruled on by the chair. From the inquiry. I did announce that the, the, I did not announce whether the eyes or the nays have it. I did not. Did I? I said the nays have it? I, I don't recall what that, to be honest. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go back to the original. We're going to go ahead and go by standing up, okay? We're going to count these, because it's going to take too long to do the roll call, the true roll call. So, we're going to vote by standing. We're going to have the staff count that. I apologize, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I don't want to leave any doubt as to what the disposition of the motion was. So, the motion again is whether to divide the question or not between Resolution 3 and all the other resolutions. All those in favor of dividing the question, please stand and remain standing until you're asked to be seated. Delegates and properly seated alternates only.
that it is on the floor, you are not allowed to be on the floor to vote. Otherwise, in other words, you have three seats or eight seats or however many it is. You can't occupy more seats than that just because the county behind you is absent. Okay, alternates that are not properly seated for a delegate need to remove themselves from the floor. Please honor the rules. By the way, we know who you are. If you don't remove yourself from the floor, we will have you removed.
motion fails. We'll now proceed to the motion Mr. Chairman, to adopt. Yes. Um, I would like to be able to amend the motion for each of these resolutions to be voted on individually. Okay, so there's a motion for division to do every resolution, all 11, separately. So another division motion is in order. It's a different motion. There's a second? Okay, so the motion is to divide the question into all 11 resolutions for 11 separate votes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? The nays have it. Okay, we'll now proceed uh, to, with any further discussion or debate on the main motion as to whether to adopt all of the resolutions. Is there any debate? Seeing none. All those in favor of adopting the resolutions as a package say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Yay. Thank you. All right, I do want to go back to this last procedure just to clarify. I, with that, I'm sorry, the ayes have it. Thank you. On the uh, first motion to divide, I expressed doubt on the voice vote. I was immediately proceeding to a division vote. The division vote went, was going forward. Then there was a request for roll call, okay? The division was already underway because I asked for it. I needed it. And that's why we didn't do a true roll call. We, we were able to resolve it through the division. So thank you for your patience with that. Um, next uh, matter of privilege here. Thank you, Chairman, Madam Chair, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your work. Uh, last night I mentioned in the dinner uh, that uh, Sandra Mitchell was interested in getting some cards for Donna Jones. You all know she was in a, a tremendous accident several weeks ago and she is still in the process of recovering. So we have a number of uh, get well cards for her and to also thank her for all of her good work. Um, all of our constitutional officers and elected officials do a great job staying in touch with us. Nobody has a better attendance record at these events than Donna. So um, please take a moment to, to write a note to her and we'll get those cards delivered. With that, we move before lunch to the nominating committee. The nominating committee is unique in that it only does its work once every four years. I'm going to read that section. I'm the chairman of the nominating committee by rule. We had a committee that met yesterday that set forth by rule as the uh, uh, two national committee men and women, the region chairs, and five people that I appointed. And we conducted the business of the nominating committee to send a report to the floor. Trevor's, uh, or Jonathan's going to cue this up in a minute, but before he does, I'm going to let you know what we do. The nominating committee, pursuant to state code 347073 and the rules of the National Republican Party, shall consider and nominate candidates for delegates and alternates to the Republican National Convention. The committee shall further nominate candidates as presidential electors for the Electoral College. To assist the nominating committee, each state campaign chairman for a presidential campaign Candidate shall recommend to the nominating committee a slate of delegates and alternates selected from the respective list of names as filed with the Secretary of State being consistent with the number to which each candidate is entitled as a result of the Idaho Republican Presidential Nomination Caucus. They shall also submit a brief resume of each individual on their respective lists. The chairman of the nominating committee, and just to put that in English, that means that the, the person who received the, the, the votes uh, at the caucus, which was, of course, Mitt Romney, had over 50%, submits that list to, the, to us, and that campaign has done that, and we had that before us yesterday. The chairman of the nominating committee shall place in nomination the nominating committee's recommendation of a full slate of delegates and alternates consistent with the number to which each delegation